guys! Hey guys! So someone suggested that I read June some English idioms that he's never heard before and he can guess what they mean. Okay. But, you know what? June's a really smart guy. He doesn't need to guess what the idioms are. He's gonna tell us what the idioms mean in English. <laughs> because that's how good his English is. Are you ready? <laughs> sure. Alright June, All right. what does elephant in the room <laughs> mean? Elephant in the room? There's an elephant in the room. Means it's really crowded. It's very... There's not much space left. <laughs> because it, it's like there's an elephant in the room. Yeah. There's so many people yeah. there. Yeah, there are so many elephants in Japan. There are. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Japan is so crowded. There are so many elephants here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> elephant in the room actually means that there is something unspoken. Unspoken. Or like there's kind of an issue that everyone in the room knows about, but no one's talking about it. So there's like a big issue, but they're ignoring it. Supposedly it came from a dude named Ivan Andreevich. Andreevich? Kirillov? Yeah, sounds Russian. Kirillov? Sounds <laughs> maybe a Russian dude. Who wrote a story about a guy who went to a museum mm -hmm. and he saw all sorts of tiny things there but he didn't notice that there was an actual elephant there. So for example, let's say that half of my family voted for Donald Trump and half of my family voted for Hillary Clinton okay. and then after the election Donald Trump won. Half of my family is extremely angry at the other half of my family okay. but no one's talking about it so everyone's just sitting at the dinner table so I, bought, I bought flowers on sale today. Oh yeah, all right. But really, in their mind, they're all thinking, "You did this to us. This is your fault." That's yeah, but are they doing that so that they, they don't ruin the atmosphere? Um, it can be. Yeah, you know, it could be for any reason. Okay. But, uh, I like the definition that it's crowded better. I'm gonna go with that one from now on. Okay. Yeah. This is really fun and not fun at the same time. <laughs> Jin says that. Yeah. What does beat around the bush mean? Or in British, beat about the bush. Beat around the bush? Beat around the bush. Beat around the bush means um, talking to people about rumors. Annoyingly. Annoyingly talking to people about rumors? Yeah. So like someone who's gossiping? So like that, that girl at work who is always like coming up and talking about everyone else and you're like, Carol, stop! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear about Diana? She forgot to pick up her kids at carpool. So it's Carol. Where does the name Carol come from anyway? <laughs> But, but why, what does beating around the bush, where does that come from? You know, household wives wanted to talk about rumors so badly that she went outside, she go outside of the house and uh -huh. be, actually physically be around the bush to go to talk to her neighbor. <laughs> why can't she just walk around, like why can't she go up to the driveway and just walk over? Um, the person <laughs> she wanted, to, the housewife wanted to talk to was in, in the yard. So okay. that, that was surrounded by bush. So like Joanne's just chilling by your pool and then Carol like pops out from the bushes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joanna, did you hear about Diane? <laughs> okay, so um, beat around the bush actually means to like avoid answering a question, to stall, like waste time. So let's say you have to go to a business meeting and everyone needs to solve an issue, but then people just start talking about unrelated stuff. Mm -hmm. So they're beating around the bush. They're not getting to the root of the problem that they got to solve. <laughs> this came from um, I guess back in the day, some people would like uh, to do bird hunting. If the bird was in a bush, they would mm -hmm. go and actually beat the bush to get the bird to come out. Right. And that was kind of like the prelude to actually being able to hunt. So before they could actually hunt the bird, they had to like beat the bush and get the bird out. So right. apparently that, that's how that came about. Okay, June. Yeah. Maybe you know this one, June Sensei. Okay. Well, I mean, of course you know that. He knows all of these. What does sleep with the fishes mean? Sleep, sleep with the with fishes. The fishes Look means sleep with the fishes. You you're died the fishes. because you're you drown and your your corpse, your your body sunk under the bottom of your the river or sea and then you know, you know, people don't wanna be dragged, so they say, Oh yeah, my son, he's sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> So dad says this about his son who drowned? Yeah, specifically the type of death. My Dave, son is sleeping with fishes. Dave, I'm so sorry to hear about your son. What happened? He's sleeping with the fishes. So sleeping with the fishes actually refers to someone who was murdered and their body is dumped into water. So there is like a death in mode. Yeah, they are dead and their corpse is underwater, but usually it's because they were murdered. And it's famous in English because of the Godfather movie. 
It was used in The Godfather. So I was kind of close. Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> okay. So, so um, you definitely wouldn't say this about your own son if your son drowned. People usually think of it in reference to like the mafia, the mob killing someone. All right, Jun Sensei. Hi. Jun Sensei. Hi. What does bite the bullet mean? The bullet that comes out of the a, a gun. Yes. Bullet. Um, it means do something painful or do something painful patiently. Patiently do something painful. Yeah, yeah. Why? Where, do, where does that phrase come from? Um, you know, like no, no one wants to bite bullets. It's really painful. It probably will taste horrible too. <laughs> so this used to be um, one of the punishments they used uh -huh. to do back in 18th centuries in America. Uh, okay, 18th century America, people used to bite. So like, what kind of punishment? Like if a kid broke their parents' lamp or something, dad's like, all right, go bite this bullet out. <laughs> That's it, your punishment. It, it's, it's going to look very, very serious. Dad will, you know, draw a gun from his door and then show the Jesus. gun and then open the gun revolver and then get some bullets and then he's going to say anything. Just, you know, do make, this. make the kid bite a yeah. bullet. Yeah. Well, it's kind of, kind of close. Oh yeah. So bite the bullet means to endure something patiently. Okay. And it can be something painful as well. But um, these days, it's probably just, it's mostly just something you really don't want to do. But you just gotta bite the bullet and go do it. Oh, that's how and, you use it? Yeah, and the origin is from back in the day when they didn't have like anesthesia for when you had to have surgery or uh, something had to happen. And okay. so they gave you a bullet to bite down on so you could clench your teeth while you were being operated on. It was actually pretty close. Jin Sensei. Hi. What does hit the nail on the head mean? It means death penalty. Hit the nail on the head. Death. So like a human head. Yeah. Hitting a nail into someone's head. Yeah. That means death penalty. <laughs> so what happened to Jebediah? How did his court case go? They're gonna hit him in the head with the nail. <laughs> a jar. Oh my god. That's horrible. Oh, who dies by nails through the head? <laughs> very, very. Heavy no, like penalty. <laughs> the flat part of the nail, that's called the head of the nail. Mm -hmm. So when you hit the head of the nail, you're getting something exactly right. So like for one of these idioms, you knew what it was. You guessed it correctly, so that you hit the nail on the head with that one. This one you did not hit the nail on the head. <laughs> but you hit the nail into the head, and that's horrible. Okay, Tune. Tune Sensei. What does Elvis has left the building mean? Elvis has left the building. What's Elvis? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, June. Hi. What does beat a dead horse mean? It means you're a jerk. It means you're a jerk? Yep. You're an asshole. Because you're beating a dead horse? Yeah. Worse than you can do. The you're the worst. That's what it means. <laughs> that would, you would really be a bull if you're beating a dead horse. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So the term dead horse actually used to mean something of no value. So beating a dead horse is a phrase that means you're wasting time doing something that's already been done. So let's say... Okay, I got it. So let's say you have an argument with someone and you try to convince them that you're right and then you, you give up, you're done. And then someone else comes over and starts having the same argument. You'd be like, oh, don't bother, you're beating a dead horse because you already tried that, it didn't work. Okay. Hear something straight from the horse's mouth. An idiot. Because you're listening to a horse. <laughs> the horse told me <laughs> to, hear, to hear something from the horse's mouth means you're hearing something um, from the authoritative source. So the person who is authorized to speak on the subject. It sounds like there's so many idioms about like horses. related to horses. <laughs> we like our horse idioms. I wonder if there are any more horse idioms. Hang on. Oh, I know, I know one. I didn't even have to look it up. Horsing around. Stop horsing around! Like, stop messing around? Yeah, this is what like a, a, a mom or a teacher would say to their kids. Stop horsing around over there! <laughs> wait, wait, hang on. I just found an article that says the origin of 12 horse-related idioms. Hang on, okay, okay. I got some more horse ones. Hold your horses. Hold the horses. That means we Americans love horses. 
Hold your horses. <laughs> Means we love horses. Cause because I'm holding a, a, like a little baby horse. Look at your horse. I think they're bigger. Means your baby horsey. Uh, does it mean anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one's really common. Oh yeah. Hold your horses. Means like hang on, just wait. They like, stop. Like just wait a minute. Uh, it means someone's like rushing or they a really. Hold? Oh, okay. Sorry. Someone wants to do something quickly. Sorry, I got it. Uh huh. So uh, I think that's enough for horse idioms. Do you want any more horse idioms? <laughs> June's had enough horse idioms. All right. No horse means I'm done. No, no horse. Yeah. No horse. No horse. <laughs> it's over. Get out. No horse. Yep. All right. No I'm horse. gonna end every video from now on. No horse. <laughs> Thank right. you, thank you, Jun Sensei, for right. teaching us. I learned so much today. I'm glad. Like uh, glad. elephants, elephants mean that places are crowded, mm -hmm. and hit a nail on the head means you're executing people with nails. Yeah, that's the yeah. oh worst gosh. one you can get. <laughs> All right, no horse. No horse. <laughs>